Hey guys, it's Andy here. In this video, I'm going to show you how I repaired one of my Lido Calas uh, using the other broken Lido Cala. Both of them broke in different ways, a day between each other. So this one broke first, and I couldn't figure out what exactly broke in it. I believe it had something to do with these toroids. I believe, but I might be wrong. It was completely unresponsive. It would warm up though, so it was getting power all the way down to this part of the circuit board. It was 100% unresponsive. So, okay, whatever. I ordered two more because they're 25 bucks for me and I can't get anything else that's a good price and reliable. So I'm just going to buy those. So anyways, and the second one, I had one of these batteries. It, uh, because they're sitting upside down, it actually leaked, like uh, it leaked in its electrolytic through the top because it's pointed upside down. And it leaked all over the board and went on the back of this. I believe it's the other one. All right, it leaked down into here. You can't really see it, but it's this really fine electrolytic. Uh, it smells like lithium. The unit would start up just fine, but none of the buttons would respond. So I took it apart, I heavily examined it, and then I took a big risk, just assuming on gravity that it would the liquid would flow this way. I couldn't see any of that liquid anywhere around this section, but I could see a lot of it around that button. And there's a bunch of resistors down in there, but those wouldn't have any issue at all. So I cleaned the surface, it still wouldn't work, so then I assumed, okay, that liquid got inside the button and has shorted out the button permanently. So it thinks that the button is always pressed and therefore will not allow any other buttons to be pressed or to uh, respond. So I was right, thankfully. So I very carefully unsoldered the old one. I had to use a really small flat-headed screwdriver. Absolutely need this uh, super wick type um, braided material to soak up like a solder sucker won't won't do it this stuff is very like those four pads are very well secured even without the solder so I had a lot of trouble and I had no clue if that button would work because removing I had to remove two of them because the first one failed and then I lost another one so yeah but it, it works now so if you have that problem in the future where everything seems to be functioning perfectly fine but the buttons are completely unresponsive, try replacing the button, okay? As for the other one, I really have no clue. I, I can try re-soldering on these toroids, see what happens, but I've got a strong suspicion that it won't matter. I asked Average Joe what he thought was the best charger. He recommended the Fox Novo F-Tac 4S. Unfortunately, in Canada, the only place I could find it is on eBay for almost 50 bucks. And it's unfortunately very identical to the Lolito Kai. I'm gonna have to go with it for 25 bucks. You can't beat that price. All the others are at $50 or more. The Join Run S4, it only does charge milliamp hour measuring. It does not discharge, so it's it's not good at all. You can't use that. The X-Star Dragon, it has to be the plus version. It has to. Um, it's very expensive. It's a luxurious version. No, too expensive. I'd prefer to get an Opus at this point, but uh, at 47 bucks, it's it's still too much compared to 25 bucks. If you have one that you prefer or know of that's better or reliable, uh, please post in the comments. I'm sure not just myself, but other viewers would appreciate it. And uh, I'd be very interested to hear uh, what kind of success or failures you've had with these different units. And then here's the other option, the HW586. It ends up being the same price as buying a Lido Kai, right? Uh, this is all Canadian, remember that. So your mileage may vary heavily because apparently Canadian economy is absolute garbage. This would mimic like a Lido Kai 
right as TP4056 is. I forgot to put the double pull, double throw switches in there as well. It would cost more to build your own. The only upside is that this unit can discharge a lot faster. So you can go through a lot more because they give you two of these resistors, right? So I have them in parallel right now and I'm doing a bunch of testing. And if it's good, I'm going to buy three more of these guys and I'm going to build my own charger. I should because it's only like 14 bucks, right? Because I have all the other parts, okay? So I'd use, you know, four of these, four TP46s, one of these, and then four of these units, and then some heat sinks. Well, I have all the parts except for three of these HWs, right? So I'm testing out different batteries. Some of these are 3 volt low, others are 2.75 low. So I'm going to do a bunch of testing and see how good it does. Here, screwing the screws back in on these on this back plate. Make sure that you uh, just go finger tight on the screws. Do not wrench them down because it breaks really easily at this top corner. It just shattered right off. But yeah, it just it just shattered. So. When you're, when you're screwing this back plate back on, just finger tight, like really, once it starts giving you resistance, that's good enough. It, it doesn't need to be super tight. You know, if you have problems, if uh, you have electrolytic leak out and you find that your unit's unresponsive, try replacing the button. You'll see it, there'll be black gunk all around it. There'll be some kind of weird gunk, sticky stuff around it, so you'll know if it, it's the button. So, but now it, it works just fine. See, so I press any of these buttons and it'll light up. I can change all kinds of things, no issue. I used magnets to hold these on. It seems to work just fine. So anyways, I uh, hope you liked the video. If you want to see more of this stuff, hit subscribe. If you have a friend who has a Lido Kai, share it with them. Let them know, you know, you, you can actually fix them, but it's very, very unlikely. But if electrolytic leaks out, it seems to only affect the button. So, thanks again, guys. Bye. Hey, Addy. What'd you build? Oh, it's pretty neat, eh? Do you want to destroy it? Let's destroy it. Destroy <laughs> 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 it.